Communication is one of the most important resources we need. It's really essential that we need to voice to Australia, you know, the issues that we face on a daily basis. It impacts on our education, it impacts on our uh, employment, it impacts on our everyday life through social and emotional well-being. So through the pandemic, it was really highlighted in that, uh, especially around our young people that had to stay home from school. So every day missing out on school meant every day they were losing that quality education they deserve. Another big problem exposed by the town's COVID crisis was the terrible internet access. And how do you make and receive phone calls? A team of researchers has been working with the community to map the digital gap and come up with some local solutions over the next four years. During COVID, it was obviously uh, a really big issue for a lot of our communities where people weren't able to work from home or do homeschooling or access services that were closed down during lockdown periods. Um, and so a lot of people in remote communities were left out completely from having access to what many of the people in mainstream urban and regional areas were able to do. So how many people in your house have a mobile phone? In 2026, digital inclusion is supposed to be part of closing the gap. And this is our evidence that we need to show to the government that we should get the exactly same type of service we need for uh, well, Kenya, that you, you get in Dubbo, that you get in Sydney and Melbourne and all those areas. So right now, we're working really hard to get that evidence together. Uh, so my name is uh, Anthony uh, Wiltshire. Um, I'm Shailen's husband. Uh, I'm originally, well, uh, uh, Horse Creek is my hometown in WA in the Kimberleys. Uh, my ethnic background is from the Torres Straits, uh, Arab Island, and also Fijian as well. So, yeah, that's me. And my name is Shailen Wyman. Um, I'm a Barkinger woman from Kenya, um, born and raised here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've been uh, co-researchers um, for the RMIT University. Um, so there was a team that came from Victoria um, that came here just to see, just to get an overview of what uh, the internet service and that is like. So our job was to do a survey and interview the community and see what they're um, response was yeah. Um, I was really nervous at first, yeah. <laughs> um, but then after a while, I sort of got used to doing the surveys, and yeah, it was kind of easy then. <laughs> what um, personal achievements did you get from that? Oh, learning how to do interviews with people in the community, and to do surveys as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yep. Why do you think you feel that this would be could be a, a good type of work you could get into? Um, I guess just interacting with different people and community members and yeah, all the organisations and yeah, it's really good. For me it's been like one voice, but now, you know, with the remarkable work with our local co-researchers and of course your team, we, we, we got to hear over a hundred voices in a few days and that is, um, that's remarkable and I'm very proud that I was part of that partnership. Uh, I didn't realise that we did that much because, yeah, it's just people coming from, yeah, all around the community, you know, coming one after the other, you know, and we're just saying the questions and doing the interviews and that. Yeah, I, I think I've never said so much words in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really exciting. Um, we wasn't expecting that many people to turn up, but yeah, it was really good. The feedback um, alone showed us it was really worthwhile and I was very happy. So proud of our two young um, local workers because they, they get to um, not just participate in experience, but they get to be also part of that journey to have the equal rights of uh, the human rights of having the same mobile and internet service in our community. I think RMIT with Ready, with 
our local community um, uh, made a big difference in ensuring that we got the best outcome possible. I'm really glad that they, um, you know, come here and to, you know, be on ground and see what's going on in the community and to, you know, allow us to, you know, work alongside them to do the surveys and interviews. Yeah, I think it's a, yeah, a big plus. I just, yeah, I really thank them for that. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really good. I think it made um, it a bit easier for the community members coming in, um, seeing a like familiar face. So I think that made the whole process yeah a bit easier for all, and yeah a bit more comfortable. All right, last one, BB Adams. Deadly to work with or what? Come on. Oh, terrible. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, really good worker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, really good worker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anywhere along the river is by a Monday from other side of bag.